Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger, and in this lecture video, we will identify the features on the early Jurassic skeleton of Morganucodon that make it a basal mammal. Morganucodon is a small early proto mammal from the late Triassic and early Jurassic. Specimens have been found in Europe, Asia, and Africa, with some debate on the definition of the genus. The early mammal is regarded as the first true mammal because it has a jaw joint between the squamosal and dentary bones. Although the middle ear bones are still articulating with the lower jaw, a fairly primitive trait. Morgaducanon was about 10 centimeters in length, about the size of a small rat, and was an insectivore. Morgaducanon featured a number of traits that make it a basal mammal. First, it exhibits the defining trait of having a joint between the squamosal and dentary bones, which means that the lower jaw is composed of a single bone on each side, the dentary. The teeth are diphylodont, which means that rather than being continuously replaced, they were, there was just two generations of teeth, the milk teeth or baby teeth and the adult teeth. This restriction of having only two generations of teeth allows for the upper and lower teeth to occlude with each other and provides a more tightly fitting surface for chewing and grinding food. Now there's another contemporary early proto-mammal from the early Jurassic of Asia, Psychonodon, which lacks the diphylodont condition with multiple series of tooth replacement and an interesting ontogeny that suggests continued growth throughout an individual lifespan, like some reptiles, rather than the terminal growth found in mammals, with growth slowing with adulthood. Now the teeth in Morganucodon can be separated into molars and premolars, which feature cusp, and as we'll see, uh, form a complex pattern of cusps and basins, which occlude between upper and lower teeth. The femur features a ball-like head with a large greater trochanter, which offers a more upright stance uh, for the hind legs. The larger greater trochanter serves as the attachment site for the gluteal muscles, as well as other muscles that attach to the pelvis. The pelvis features an obturator foramen, which is an opening in the pelvis, which is found in all later mammals, including humans. And Morganucodon was a tiny, but highly successful little mammal. It was likely covered in fur and may have been nocturnal. Evidence from bone histology suggests that Morganucodon was endothermic. Excellent, you should be able to identify the features on the early Jurassic skeleton of Morganucodon that make it a basal mammal. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website, benjamin Links are found in the description below.